Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today I thought it would be fun to do a little Q&A all about our cruise. I know a lot of you guys seem to have questions about seasickness and stuff like that, so I thought it would be fun to go ahead and share some of our experience with you. Excuse my little bandage. I have some poison ivy, thanks to Jason, um, but it's all covered up and hopefully not going to spread to Macy. So anyway, let's get into some of the questions that you guys had. I did ask questions on Instagram and on my like feed through YouTube. So if you're interested in Q and A's and stuff like that, make sure to check out those um, spots first because I usually don't have enough time to like put them on a video. So um, I don't think I have a ton of questions so I should be able to get through them all. Uh, the last time that I did them, last time I did a Q and A, a lot of people said like, oh, can you leave it open for longer? And I did not have it open, the last one open for a long time, but I didn't get to get to, I did not get to get to all of the questions anyway, because there's so many. So I will try and do more Q and A's for you guys. So, um, the first question was any seasickness. I tend to get motion sickness with just about anything, LOL. I'd like to try a cruise, but I'm worried that I'd be sick the whole time. That's a great question and something that Jason and I actually really worried about because I get really car sick if I'm not in the front seat, no matter who's driving, no matter if there's traffic, no traffic, I seem to get, I seem to get like sick. Um, sometimes it's just like my stomach feels bad, other times like I legit throw up, so I was nervous about that. Jason also gets really sick on airplanes for whatever reason his stomach just can't handle it and so we were both worried for different reasons and we were completely fine we didn't take anything and maybe it was just the size of our ship we had like 3,000 people on board um, it was a pretty big ship but nothing I didn't feel the ship move I didn't feel it like sway or anything no issues but I did see a ton of people with those little dots which I'm assuming that's some type of like medicine or something so if you're worried, you can always pick them up and do it as a precaution, but we didn't have any issues and we get pretty sick. Um, did you get a drink package? Was it worth it? Another great question. Jason and I are not big drinkers. I probably mentioned this a few times. Once in a while we'll have a drink, but really like we don't drink a ton. When we went on our honeymoon to Jamaica, we had like an all-inclusive thing. We seriously got drinks like twice the whole time that we were there. If anything, I was getting like smoothies, which of course was included in our like package, but I didn't really get anything alcoholic. Um, we did the same, we did not do the same thing with our cruise. We decided to just go ahead and just get the basic package and we figured if we want to buy drinks, we can. Um, the package that they had on board was like $60 per day per person. I'm pretty sure that if you want the package, both people or whoever's with you in your party has to get it. So that's like $120 per day for drinks. And we figured even if we get drinks every day, there's no way we're gonna have 12 drinks total each day between the both of us. Cause they're like 10 to $14 per, per drink. They're expensive, but we just didn't think that it, it would be worth it. So we didn't, but we did end up buying drinks. Um, I think there was one day that we both got drinks that ended up being like $22. And then the next day I got a drink and Jason got like a soda and it was like $10. So wasn't very expensive. I suggest if you're not a big drinker, just to go ahead and like just pay for it when you want it. Um, for us, one thing that we considered was getting the soda package because we both really like soda. Um, at least having like a soda at lunch or something and honestly it was so hot that most of the days I didn't even want a soda I just wanted water um, what comes in like the very basic package is you get water like lemonade juices and iced tea so if you're okay with those types of things then that would be completely fine I think if we also went with like a group of people like if I went with my sister and her husband and like a friend and her boyfriend I might have gotten the drink package, but I just know like when it's just me and Jason, we don't really drink a ton. Um, another question was, I've never, I've never been, but want to go at some point. How, how do you choose that cruise versus other cruises in the Caribbean? What do you pack for a cruise? What do you do while on the cruise? What to avoid on and off the cruise? What were some things that surprised you, good or bad? What would you do differently if you went on another cruise? Okay, those are lots of questions, but I'll try and answer them all. Um, 
So how did we choose it? We actually went through a travel agent. We went through the same travel agent that booked our, um, an or not our anniversary, our honeymoon. And the reason why we did that was because I remember first thing, okay, first thing, this was supposed to be a surprise. Jason was not supposed to have any idea. I literally wanted to be getting on the cruise before he knew what we were doing. It didn't work out that way. We had some like scheduling issues with my mom and all of that. So um, Macy did not go with us and we needed someone to watch her. So I ended up having to tell Jason so that he could like help me figure that all out. Anyway. So it was supposed to be a surprise for him. So what I did is I went to our travel agent that we went when we booked our honeymoon. And when we were booking our honeymoon, she was telling us how she's been on like a hundred cruises and how um, if we like ever want to go on a cruise to contact her. So I remembered that from like five years ago. So I contacted her and I really just went with what she said. I told her like, you know, we just want to go for a couple days. I don't want it to be that expensive. Like we're on a budget. Um, and I kind of told her like we wanted to go somewhere like where it's going to be nice, although in August it's probably nice almost anywhere. So we were kind of limited with, because we wanted like a two to three or three to four day cruise. So we were kind of limited to like the Bahamas or somewhere, you know, somewhat close. We couldn't go to like Europe or anything. Um, but basically we just let her choose or I let her choose. She gave me two different options. and. Um, the different options, really the main difference was like where you would get on the boat. And because I didn't want to like deal with taxis and stuff like that, I just chose the one that we went on. So really no big science. I would definitely do it differently this time around. Now that I know and we've already gone on one, I think I would definitely do more research into where you would go, like the ports and stuff, just because I did, there are a lot of lessons that we learned and I'll talk about that when you get when you, I get to the questions where you talk about what surprised us and stuff like that. Um, okay, so what do you pack for a cruise? We just packed like bathing suits, shorts. Um, I brought like a couple different pairs of shoes. It was really just like stuff that you would bring if you went somewhere tropical. What I wish I would have brought was like a bathing suit cover up because we were in our bathing suits like the majority of the time and I just wish that I had like a nice cute like dress cover up instead of wearing like shorts and a tank top. That's the main thing that I would change. I would also probably bring more dress up clothes because I just assumed that it would be like pretty casual like you're on vacation no one's really gonna get dressed up and everybody gets dressed up at like dinner. Like when you go to your fancy dinner almost everybody got dressed up. So I wish I would have brought a little bit more dress up clothes. Um, just because I felt like we were a little bit more dressed down, but they're okay with it. Like the one that we, the cruise that we went to or went on, they were completely fine with you wearing whatever you wanted to wear. Um, what do you do while on the cruise? So there's so many things to do. They actually had this cool screen where you could like literally say what to do right now like you press the little button that says what to do and it tells you like a list of times and what's going on so we and i showed this in my vlog but we watched a um ice show so like ice skating we also went to a comedy show there were movies playing all over the cruise you could go on the deck by the pool and watch a movie they had like a movie theater where you could go watch a movie um, they had like bingo and like all kinds of like older people activities, younger people activities. They had like kids activities. We went, um, we did like putt putt on the top of the boat. The boat. You also can go on excursions. So um, we didn't really do a ton of excursions. We just kind of wanted to like chill and do stuff as we thought of it. So I didn't plan pretty much anything. When we went to Jamaica, everything was planned. It was very structured. Every day we were going on excursions and it just seemed like very overwhelming and like a ton, like you weren't actually relaxing. And this time I knew I wanted to relax, like relaxing came first. And then if we decided we wanted to go do something, then we could. So on the islands, obviously you could relax by the pool. You could go in the ocean. We went snorkeling when we were um, on the islands. We also went on mopeds, which was really fun. They have so many different activities. The list goes on and on. They have a casino on the boat. So um, finding things to do is not an issue at all. If anything, like I feel like there's, there's a ton of stuff. Like you could literally 
be really busy on a cruise if you wanted to. So lots of stuff to do on a cruise. Um, what to avoid on and off the cruise. One thing that Jason and I learned was that going on a cruise with kids, especially Macy's age, is a huge no-no. I'm sure people do it, but for us personally, we would not want to go on a cruise with Macy anytime soon. And I'll kind of tell you guys a little bit why. So we saw a ton of people with young kids. And the first thing is there's a lot of people. Like I said, there are like 3,000 people, which doesn't seem like that many people. But when you're trying to get on and off the elevators, like it was impossible to ever get on the elevator. So me and Jason went up and down stairs the entire time completely fine with just us, but if we had Macy and we were carrying her and all of her stuff, it would be a lot. Um, the other thing is there's a lot of crowds like when you're going to eat. There were a couple times, well there's a lot of times where like we were looking around a while to find a spot to eat because we would like get into the dining hall area and there was it was completely packed. No tables available or anything like that. Um, so what would happen is I would go up and get my food once we found a table and Jason would hang back and like save our seat because seriously as soon as you get up someone's like waiting and they're going. So it just seems a little bit too crowded for a toddler and I know Macy, I know that she would want to like run around and play and it's just not meant for that. Like she would want to run around in the dining hall. She'd want to run around like in the halls and there's just too many people for that. So one huge thing that we learned on the cruise was that we would not take M Macy anytime soon, which is something that we actually considered. We thought for a while um, that we would take Macy like next year if we really liked it. And now we're like, yeah, we're not doing that until she's in middle school. So that was one huge thing. Another thing that we learned is you should try and go um, on the island, so like try and go on excursions and stuff early because everybody seems to want to go to breakfast and get on the boats to go to the islands around like 9 to 11. So if you're starting to eat breakfast late, you're going to have a hard time finding a table just like I was talking about earlier. So if we did it again, we would definitely wake up early, go to the excursions, come back early, and then once you're once you're back from like the islands and stuff there's really not very many people um that was one nice thing that we that we liked was that like if you seem to get back early from going um the days that you could get off it seemed like there were way less people so those are a couple things that we noticed i think the other thing is one thing that we learned and we think that we did well was not buying the drink package because Everybody talks about how like soda and stuff is so expensive and if you think about it like if you don't drink a ton it's really it's really not that much. Um, what are some things that surprised you good or bad? Um, so one thing that surprised me was the difference between the two islands that we went to. One was like a private island that I don't I don't know if it's just Royal Caribbean that owns it or if it's a couple cruises or whatever but um, the, the island was called, called Coco Cay and that island was completely beautiful you literally get on like a little boat from the like cruise boat it takes you to this island and it's just like beach like it is you get off you walk to the beach there's like places where you can rent um like scuba stuff you can rent umbrellas if it's getting too hot you can rent like little um, floats if you want to go float in the ocean but it was just beautiful and no one was bothering you no one was saying like oh do you want to buy this do you want your hair bright braided do you want this do you want that like it seemed very safe I felt like like I seriously left my cameras I left everything on my my pool t towel and I didn't feel like someone was gonna come and steal it um, it seemed like very I was just very comfortable there then we, when we went to Nassau it was kind of different um, you don't get off, like it's not really a nice area, you're not right on the beach, you have to either take like a taxi or you have to go. We did have a lot of fun because we did mopeds, but it just wasn't as, it didn't seem as safe and there were like people trying to get you to buy things and stuff like that. It reminded me a lot of Jamaica, which was, that was one thing that I did not like. You know, you'd be on, you'd be on the beach and people were constantly asking you if you wanted to go jet skiing and stuff like that. I personally do not like when people come up to me in stores and ask like, oh, do you need help? 
So for me, like that just completely turns me off from like a, a vacation place. Like I don't want, I don't want to like talk to people if I don't want to talk to people, if that makes sense. Like I feel like that sounds really mean, but I don't. Like I want to kind of enjoy myself and and not feel bad when like I, you know, I don't know. Anyway, so that was one thing. I think going along with that, I would definitely research the different space, the different like spots that you would, you would stop. Because now I know, like, I like the more private island feel than I like, you know, someplace like Nassau where there's a ton of ships there and stuff like that. I know there's probably really pretty places in Nassau, but I just, I personally did not like it. Um, I think I kind of got a little spoiled with going to Coco Cay first because that was exactly what I expected. And then going there, it just, it seemed very different. So anyway, that's kind of like all the things that I learned. Um... Obviously, like my one of my cousins went to Nassau on a cruise like a couple weeks ago and she loved it. Like it didn't bother her at all. So it totally might just be like a personal preference. I think it also is because like I've had experience with traveling before. With Jamaica, that was one thing that I really did not like. And I think again, I just got spoiled with going to that private island and you know, it being it just feeling like really relaxing and really safe. Um, another question was, what was your favorite thing about the cruise? I don't know if I have one favorite thing. I think it was just like so relaxing and some of the things that I really liked, I really liked the massage. I made sure to plan that the day that we got there because I knew like after studying and after traveling, like I get really stressed during traveling. Our flight literally dropped like 20 feet like it it was a big drop and a lot of people were nervous that flight like going to Florida so after that and after just like you know whenever I go somewhere new it's kind of stressful so after that I definitely um, needed to relax and the massage was so perfect it was like an hour long it was just exactly what I needed so I love that I love that like neither Jason and I like neither of us had access to like our phones. Like once you get, you know, away from Miami, you really don't have any act, you don't have any phone service. We didn't buy the internet package until like the last day. So it was really nice to like be disconnected and like not have our phones as a distraction because for me personally, it's really hard to unplug. Like I'm constantly looking at comments and all of that so it was really nice that part too and I definitely recommend that I did that on I did that when I, we went on our honeymoon as well we both vowed like we're not going we both vowed that that's kind of corny but we both said like we're not going to go on our phones at all while we were there and we did that it was really nice to be disconnected um but besides that like the food was really good it was way better than Jamaica I love the food on the cruise um I don't know it was just I think the, the biggest thing for me was just how relaxing it was and that's exactly what I wanted. I wanted it to be relaxing. I didn't want like a schedule. I just wanted the complete opposite of like what my life normally is and that's kind of what it what it was. For Jason, we've talked about this a couple times. His favorite part was like being on the top deck and just having like the breeze go by and watching us like move in the ocean that was like his favorite part there were a lot of nights where like it was late and i'm like okay i'm going to bed because we have to wake up early tomorrow to like do stuff and he's like okay i'm just gonna hang out on deck and i'm like okay <laughs> so yeah that was his favorite part he also really liked the food i think um what extra excursions did you take? How much did they cost? So I talked about this before. We didn't want to do a ton of excursions. We wanted to like kind of take it easy. So the first one we did was um, snorkeling and that was $47 per person. So I definitely recommend if you like even think that you're gonna go snorkeling to bring them with you uh, because $47 is a lot of money just, you know, just to rent something for the day. It was something that we didn't really plan on doing like I didn't think that I would do it but it was so hot that like you needed to be in the water and it was fun so that was one thing that we did another thing that we did was we rented mopeds we've wanted to do that for so long and that was one thing that we wanted to do in Jamaica but it was not safe to do um, so we we rented mopeds we rented one so i was on the back and i think it was like 70 dollars for the whole day we just had to make sure we were back by 4 30. it started raining so we didn't end up staying that long but it was fun to just kind of like
go around and see what everything was like. Um, yeah, so those are really the only two things that we spent money on besides the massage. I paid for the massage, that was like $80. Um, and then Jason got a scalp massage that was like totally random. He wasn't planning to do it at all. Um, and that was like $30. So definitely not too much. We really didn't spend much money besides like the actual cruise part. What was your favorite appetizer, entree, and dessert at dinner? Which ports did you visit and what was your favorite one? So I talked about the ports. We, we went to Coco Cay, which was my favorite one just because it was really like exclusive and just it seemed safe and it was I don't know it was just the perfect little getaway there weren't that many people at all either because it was I think it was just our boat that was there um, we also went to Nassau was not a big fan of that at all it reminded me a lot of Jamaica and I just I liked our honeymoon because we did so many fun things you know we went scuba diving we went um, we went what is it called when you go in the like not hand gliding, we went zip lining. We did a lot of fun stuff, but I just didn't like how like the area, like you really could not go outside of the resort. I don't really like that. Um, as for the entrees and stuff like that, I don't know, like I'm like super picky about food. So probably the best thing that I had was, well, we had like a, not like a roast beef type of thing. Jason, Jason tried Indian food on the cruise and he loved that. I had steak um, at our fancy dinner twice and I really liked that. It was a really good steak with like butter sauce. That was my, probably my favorite thing. Um, for dessert, they had these warm donuts with like whipped cream and chocolate sauce. That was amazing. For appetizers, I didn't really have anything that great. They had like this Greek salad with cucumbers and stuff like that. That was pretty good. I also had like like a little meat and cheese tray. I'm I'm super boring with food, so I'm like the worst person to ask. I should have had Jason answer these questions, some of these questions. What was your total cost for the cruise thinking of going on one next year? I have to still go through everything and like settle all of the money, but I would say in total, it was probably $2,500. I might do a video on the cost of the cruise because I seriously need to go through all my receipts and kind of total it up. But if I had to do a rough guess, I would say 2,500. Okay, so those were all the um, all the questions on Instagram. Now let me go back to YouTube and see, I think there's eight more questions and some of them are probably repeats. Um, did you get seasick? I talked about that, no. Would you? What would you do differently on a cruise? Um, different cruise line. I really liked our cruise line. They seemed really, everything was really clean. The, the people that worked on the cruise were so nice. They were like, I mean, they would come to our door and say like, how is your day going? Is there anything we could do? Like, I personally don't like that, but they went out of their way to like make sure that we were having a good time and that we were full and stuff like that. So I really liked Royal Caribbean. We went on Mariner of the Seas. It's very, um, very affordable. We actually had like, and if you watch the vlog, you probably know, but we had a balcony, not a balcony suite, but a balcony room. And I mean, like I said, we spent less than like $2,500 on everything. So definitely doable. So it was definitely doable um, budget wise. What I did is I saved like $185 per month for the cruise for about a year. And that seemed to be, that covered pretty much everything. Um, it covered our hotel for the night before because I usually recommend that you go the night before. That way if there's like weather issues that you don't have to worry about missing um, your cruise. We also had to pay for mine and Jason's flights. Ubers to and from all the different spots. Um, we paid for my massage. We paid for um, snorkeling. We paid for the, the scooter the moped we paid for like drinks and extra stuff because they had like a starbucks you could get starbucks so we did that once so it pretty much paid for everything um if anything i would probably just add a little bit more money so maybe do like 200 dollars per month for the cruise um and that's just because at the very end jason was like helping a couple of his, of his family members work on like their decks and like clearing out a lot 
and that's that's where I got this him helping out with that but anyway um we had a, we had a little bit of extra money because of that so um, if I would have just had the money that we were saving for the year it probably wouldn't have been enough so Jason really um, did good by like picking up a little a couple side jobs so we could have a little bit of extra money um, someone on a strict budget like I said I would just start early like you know I knew that I wanted to do this cruise for Jason um, for our fifth anniversary so I started saving a year before and I figured $185 is nothing if you just you know make the time to do it if you just you know set it aside and that way like it, the money was already gone in my mind like once it's in our sinking funds it's gone so I didn't even think twice about it I'm like we're going on our cruise like you know and we just paid off my car we just paid off all my student loans so for you know if, if it wasn't for me putting that away I'm sure we would have made excuses and not went so I would say just put in a sinking fund consider it gone and you will be good to go um, a lot of the questions are very similar was this our first cruise yes first cruise um, I honestly had no idea what to expect I did watch videos but I feel like it's hard to know how you're gonna like something until you actually experience it the food was amazing um, I've said that before I'm super picky Jason will eat anything and we both love the food that was one thing like a lot of people told us the food would be amazing and I, did, I don't know if I necessarily believed it but now I do the food was so good and guys I would literally go on that cruise a million times I love that cruise ship I love that like I love the stops I would do different I would do like different activities and I know what I would do differently this time but I really liked it Jason Jason would probably say that he would go he would like to go somewhere different just because he likes to do stuff differently but I kind of like it now because I know what to expect with that cruise um are stopping at the ports expensive no because you can literally do whatever you want like you could go on excursions or you could just hang out at the beach like it's really just whatever you want to do um at coco k they actually provided us lunch so you didn't have to worry about paying for lunch when you were on nassau if you decided to stay and have lunch there then you would have to pay that out of pocket um what was your least what was your favorite and least favorite thing about cruise and would you do it again definitely we would do it again like i said i would totally go on the same exact cruise um, i think jason would like to try something different and we've actually talked about so for my so for jason's 30th birthday which is next year um i i've been really hoping to get him a motorcycle <clears throat> when he when he went to college <clears throat> i'm losing my voice when he went to college he sold his motorcycle so he could pay for tuition and he hasn't had a motorcycle since. So my goal is to save up enough so that he can have a motorcycle for his 30th birthday. So that's kind of like once, you know, we have our sa our savings done, like we're gonna start saving for that. Um, so for my 30th birthday, which is still a while away, we've been talking about maybe going on a European cruise. Um, so we'll kind of see, it kind of depends on like if we have more kids and stuff like that. but. Um, I would love to try a European cruise. That would be fun. And it would obviously be a little bit longer. Um, what was my favorite and least favorite? Like I said, a, I really loved a lot of things. I can't choose a favorite. Um, my least favorite thing would probably be stopping in Nassau. I was not just, I, I don't know. I just was not a fan. I was not a fan of it. Um, what, what kind of activity y'all do on and off the ship? Um, like I said, we watched a lot of movies on board. We went to an ice show. We went to a comedy show. We played putt-putt. We just like had nice dinners together and relaxed. We also went to the spa. We went in the hot tub a lot. Um, off, off the ship, mostly what we did was like kind of explore on the mopeds. We went, snork we went snorkeling. Um, we hung out by like the, the ocean and just kind of took pictures and all of that. So, um, yeah, that was, those are pretty much all of the questions. If you guys have any other questions about the cruise, let me know down below and I'll try and answer them again. I feel like it's so hard to know like what it's like without experiencing it. But if you guys have any questions about like specifics about our cruise or anything like that, I'm sure I'm, I'm totally sure that I'm missing something important that you guys would probably want to know. 
So anyway, let me know, like I said, down below if you guys have any more questions or if I didn't clarify something. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.